honestly, I feel like I've won just being a finalist. You know, that's so cool. Uh, only a handful of track athletes have ever gotten to experience this and I get to say that I have so I'm just I'm so pumped I can't wait that's so awesome I feel like I mean me being from like a non-power school like SFA and for me to win over a school like Oregon or uh, Kentucky like that's that's big time you know that that tells me that East Texas they got my back and that's so awesome like I'm so thankful for that if I was somehow able to pull this off uh, I think it would mean a lot you know, uh, the Bowerman, that's that's a big deal. It's like the Heisman of, of football. So uh, if I could somehow pull it off, it would be the coolest thing in the world, I think. Coaches, they've been like family to me. You know, they, they took me in. Uh, they just knew, honestly, all they knew about me when I first came here was that I was a girl from Kansas who just had a baby and wanted to pursue her pole vaulting dreams. And that's all they knew. And they were like, all right, we got her. Let's take her in. Uh, so they took me in and um, they've been so good to me like there's there's nothing that I feel like I can't talk to them about and I think that's crucial uh, for success you know you, you feel comfortable with your coaches and they believe in you and you believe in them and they've just been so amazing to me you know I I'm really excited for the Bowerman. This is kind of like the last hoorah of like last year's accomplishments, but I know there's so much more to be done and I kind of just want to put last year and, you know, kind of put it aside because I've I got to hone in on this year and 2016 it's it's the Olympic year and uh, in order for me to reach my dreams, I got to I got to be honed in, you know. <laughs>